2010s are almost coming to an end, and every decade highlights many individuals who dominated, lit the lamp, and brought success to the game and their respected franchises. There have been many memorable moments from the 2010s, which featured many talented players who helped grow the game of hockey. But with all these players who took over the decade, it's hard to pick a select few who stood out the most. Well, that's what we did. Today, we'll be giving our picks for who we think have been the top 10 best NHL players of the last 10 years. Dowdy was a huge part of the decade, helping quarterback the Kings defense to two Stanley Cups in three years. Dowdy was able to notch almost 500 points this decade and was regarded as one of the best D-men of the early 2010s. What made Dowdy special was his leadership qualities and his ability to move the puck. Dowdy's hard work finally paid off in 2015 as he was able to take home the Norris Trophy for best defenseman. Dowdy was a key player and was a very important piece to the dominant Kings team of the 2010s, but we think ranking him at number 10 makes the most sense. Carey Price has been regarded as the best goalie in the league and possibly of the decade, and we needed to include at least one goaltender. Although never leading Montreal to a Stanley Cup final appearance, he was able to take his Canadians to an Eastern Conference final appearance in 2014. Price's biggest season was in 2015, taking home the Jennings, Vesna, Lindsay, and Hart in one year. Price was the backbone of the Canadians, and every time he was out of the lineup or hurt, it seemed as though the Habs played completely different. Price was phenomenal in the last decade, and was huge for the Habs. Although you could argue Lundqvist or Fleury could have perhaps taken his place here, but Price was outstanding in the 2010, and is a definite of clot. Stamkos was electric in the 2010s, helping turn Tampa into a legit foe and taking Tampa deep into the playoffs. Stamkos always has a knack for goals and the puck and it shows, as Stammer was able to make anyone better around him. He was one of the main reasons as to why the Lightning were able to get back to the final in 2015. Stamkos lit the lamp so much that in the early 2010s, he took home not one, but two Rocket Richards in three years. Stamkos also possessed great leadership qualities and had a brilliant hockey IQ. Stamkos was extremely good and will continue to shine as the decade comes to an end, but we feel there's some players that could rank higher than on the list. Keith was a dominant shutdown defenseman in the early 2010s, capable of an offensive outburst as Keith leads defensemen in playoff points throughout the decade. Keith played a pivotal factor in Chicago and displayed great poise and attitude. He and linesman Brent Seabrook formed a dynamic duo that would tear apart the league during the first half of the decade. Keith would go on to win a Conn Smite once out of the three cup wins he had and even took home a Norris Trophy. Keith was huge in the 2010s and was even named one of the top 100 players of all time by the NHL. Malkin has always seemed to be overlooked, as he's always been the partner to Crosby and has seemed to be overshadowed by Crosby, making him one of the most underrated players of the decade. Regardless of all this, his production is just as important to the Penguins as Crosby's, as Malkin has always showed his dominance, especially during the absence of his captain, as Sid went down in 2011-2012, and this was when Malkin showcased just how skilled of a player he was, producing 109 points in 75 games, winning an Art Ross, Hart, and Lindsay in the same season. Malkin's won two cups during his 2010s and has always been a point per game type of player. Malkin is a special talent and deserves more recognition. Although Taza seemed to slow it down production-wise towards the end of the decade, he's still racked up 340 points thus far and his impact was just as big as his partner in crime during the early 2010s. Taze's leadership skills landed in the captaincy role in which he used to help guide the Hawks to their massive success throughout the first half of the decade. Taze would win a Conn Smite, Selkie, and a Messier Leadership Award throughout the decade, showcasing just how good of a leader Taze was. Taze is now seen by some as overrated, but those people fail to forget just how valuable his play was to the Hawks and forget just how big of a name he once was, especially during the early half of the decade. Taze belongs pretty high on the list. Carlson may be the best defenseman of the decade, as he's a literal beast. 
He's a possession machine and his stats showcase his success. He's an elite offensive defenseman producing over 400 points in almost 490 games, averaging more points per season than regular NHL forwards. In fact, he has held the single season scoring mark by defensemen for 3 out of the 4 years in the last 10 years. Although his play in his own zone is still a bit rusty, he's able to counter by relying on his offensive awareness and even leading the league in blocked shots in 16-17 season. Carlson took home 2 Norris trophies and is the only player on the list to get traded to another team team throughout the last 10 seasons. Ovechkin was popping off in the last decade, making a name for himself as one of the best goal scorers of potentially of all time. Ovechkin was finally able to capture his Stanley Cup in 2018 and was able to set milestones along the way. Ovechkin has come the closest to breaking Gretzky's goal scoring record than anyone has ever been, as he averages about 41 to even 50 goals a year. Ovechkin's image also changed throughout the decade as well. Once being known as a fierce Russian, who was known as one of the bad guys, Ovechkin's image quickly changed to a fierce yet beloved goal scorer who won the hearts of fans across the league. Ovechkin would take home 6 Rocket Richards, 1 Hart, 1 Lindsay, and a Conn Smythe throughout the last 10 years. Ovi's name is seen throughout numerous score sheets and throughout numerous seasons throughout the decade. Showtime was everywhere in the early 2010s. Commercials, magazines, and billboards, you name it, Kane was in it. And for obvious reasons, Kane dominated the 2010s. Three Stanley Cups, a Conn Smite, Ted Lindsay, Hart, and a Ross, and some of the silkiest myths you've ever seen. There once was a time where Kane was known as the best in the NHL. The 2010s saw Kane grow up and develop into a superstar, and give us many memorable moments that'll last a lifetime in Hawks and NHL history. Kane was electric with the puck, and it seemed almost every play was on the highlight reel the next day. Kane was my personal favorite to watch in the early 2010s, but there's one other player we have yet to talk about. There's no denying that Sidney Crosby was the man of the 2010. Crosby, despite facing several injuries throughout the decade, sits just a few points behind Patrick Kane for the most points in the decade. Crosby is also the highest point per game out of everyone in the past 10 years. He was also able to take his Penguins to the Stanley Cup Final twice and came out the victor both times, winning playoff MVP in both runs. Crosby has virtually no flaws in his game, and even as he continues to age, he's still an elite point producer and continues to dominate the league. Crosby managed to take home an Art Ross, Ted Lindsay, and Hart Trophy throughout the entire decade. Crosby's a special player, and highlights the best of the best of the 2010. Of course, everyone will have their own opinions, and that's what makes these types of videos super fun. There will always be one player people think is missing from the list, and one that people think shouldn't be on the list. So, give us your thoughts. Who do you think is the best of the decade? Because who knows, maybe that same player can end up back on this list in another 10 years. And maybe some can even be in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Osby from the corner, twisting and turning, inside out, beautiful move, trying to get the shot off, he holds, he shoots, he scores! Absolutely brilliant goal from Sidney Crosby, 6'5", 